This is a peristaltic pump, and in this video I show you how to use it on Arduino to control it all while we build this test rig for future videos where we're going to test water level sensors. So in this video I will show you how this pump works on its own, how to control it with code with an Arduino, and how to make a switch to reverse the polarity. So if I put it here, it'll suck water out of this cup that it's been putting water into and bring it back into the main cup. And all I need you to do is give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. Recently I figured out that 95% of you aren't subscribed to this channel and you're watching videos. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a ton. So as I said before, these peristaltic pumps squeeze a tube and force the liquid into a direction by causing waves in the tube. These waves cause directional pressure and a vacuum on that back end just like at a beach with waves that come crashing down. They come and they push everything towards the end of the beach and then when there's no more water, they go back and suck it all in. Kind of like a current. The nice thing about these peristaltic pumps is that there's no chance of contaminating whatever's in the tubes because all the mechanisms that cause this pump to work are outside the tube. So they're really popular in medical fields, in foods, in dangerous chemicals because the actual mechanism has no contact with the chemical inside the tube. It only has those rolling wheels. When you turn them like this, it's kind of hard to do with your fingers. When you turn it like that, you could see this one right here is just going around and squeezing the tube as it comes around in either direction. But there's actually no contact with the liquid. I could just take this out, I could take the tube out, and it's still the whole, the whole tube system is still intact regardless of this pump. So it's kind of like an add-on. It's also extremely easy to do maintenance on. Like if you need a new motor, just take this out and then put a new one onto these two pieces. It actually goes together like this. That clicks in there, that clicks in there, and then that's it. Those three pieces now made me a pump that will not contaminate the liquids. Usually in these type of videos, we take an Arduino, we connect it to whatever we're reviewing, we make it work, and that's it. But in this video, this is actually gonna be a project for the next five videos on the channel. What we need to do is make this Arduino and this pump pump water in and out of a big container like this. And then we have all these different types of water sensors that we're gonna review in each video individually, and we're gonna use this rig to test them. So the goal would be that with the Arduino and the pump, we put the water into the container until the level sensor says the water is too high, and then we cut the water, uh, you know, we cut the pump off. So all we really need to do is put water in and out of this container. We're gonna to need to reverse the direction of this pump, and we're gonna do that all with an Arduino. If you wanna actually copy this build, you're gonna need a relay to use the Arduino to control the pump. And then I'm gonna be using this rocker switch to control the direction of the pump. So for example, this could be left and this could be right, and this could be like a emergency shutoff in the middle. So the Arduino will plug into the relay, the relay will plug into the rocker switch, the rocker switch will plug into the pump. And then the pump will pump liquid in and out of our big container here and we're gonna need a water source, which will most likely just be a cup on the side of the screen that you can't see filled with water. Oh, you're also gonna need some tubing. Now, since this uses water and I have a computer right here off screen, I'm gonna be using this little, I don't know what to call it, like lunch tray, just to make sure we don't get liquid on the computer. You're also going to need a power supply for your water pump. In this case, this water pump is a 12 volt DC water pump, or at least the motor is. So I have here a power supply I think I took off of an old laptop. It's 12 volts, two amps, which is going to be perfect for what we're doing. So first off, let's build it out on the board here. Let's connect all the cables, all the tubing and everything, and then we'll go and actually write the code to control it all. So to keep this organized, I'm just gonna start heart gluing stuff to this lunch tray, just to try and get it kind of clean. So there's our Arduino board. It's gonna need some more glue for sure. I'm not gonna glue the rocker switch yet because we are gonna have to solder up these pins in the back before we glue it down so we can you know, control the directions. So for now, I'm just gonna place it right there, but these two look good. And then same thing with our pump. We have not finished yet with connecting everything. So I think we're just gonna wait out on that for a little bit. I don't wanna to spend too much time in this video showing you how I made this reversible switch. So I'm gonna keep that for another video in the series. But for now, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen if you wanna follow along to do it yourself. And then on the right, I'm gonna put a picture of what it looked like when it was finished. All right, so now we're done with the switch. 
let's connect it up to this DC motor. It's got this one on the right here with that little red dot tagged as positive, and this pin is going to have to be negative. So I'm gonna grab some cables from my trusty box over here. So I'm just gonna grab these two cables here and make those connectable for the water pump. All we have to do is repeat the process of stripping them down, twisting them up, sticking them through these pins just like this. And that's what it should look like. Then just go and repeat the same thing for the other side. All right, so back to the test rig we go. You're gonna need your hot glue gun, your newly soldered H-bridge reversing polarity switch, whatever you wanna call it, and your water pump. Just to be safe, I'm gonna put my water pump inside this little tool container. It's not going to stop a massive leak because we're gonna be working with way more water than can fit in here. But at least if I see a little water leakage, it won't leak over to my electronics or to my power supply that's connected to the wall or my laptop. I'll just be able to unplug everything and take care of that leak issue. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get some glue and then get that down onto our board. Now we're gonna take our water pump, gonna lightly glue it. I don't need anything crazy because it probably will come off at least once. Get some glue where those bolt holes are. And then I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna need a good amount of glue because I will be pushing this switch a lot. And then motor side will go to the motor and relay side will go to the relay, just like this. And I don't wanna touch the hot glue with my fingers, so I'm just gonna scrape it off with this. All right, so we have our Arduino, we have our relay, we have our polarity switch or H-bridge switch, whatever you wanna call it, and then we have our pump. The pump connects directly into these two cables coming from the H-bridge switch. Then on our H-bridge switch, we have our power supply, which is going to be our relay. We're going to plug in our positive terminal from our switch to our relay. Now this is going to be the, the one thing we really, really, really don't wanna get wet. So this right here, we just uh, cleaned up here, is our negative from the power supply, our 12 volt power supply, that's gonna go directly into the polarity switch. Now this is going to plug into the middle port, which has COM on it. So now we have our positive and negative from the power supply connected to our relay and to our switch, which both go into our pump. Our relay isn't connected to the Arduino, so we could do that. But first, let's just clean up this cables. For that, we're gonna need three different cables. We're gonna need a black cable to go to the minus. And that black cable will be going to ground on the Arduino. Then we need another cable. I'm just gonna use brown to our plus on the Arduino, which is going to be a five volt supply. And then we're gonna need another colored cable, which I'm just gonna use green. That goes onto S and S is for signal. And we'll do signal on three. Three on the Arduino board. Now that we have our rig built out, we have our Arduino connected to a relay, our relay connected to a power supply, which then interrupts that power supply to a switch, which allows us to reverse the direction of the motor. So we'll do one side will be to pump water into the, into the big uh, box right here. Then one side will be to pull water out. And then eventually in each specific video, the Arduino will be connected to a different type of level sensor. Like let's say we're using this big float sensor. And when the sensor detects that the water level has reached the highest it should be, it'll tell the Arduino and that pump should shut off. That's the goal of what the videos will be and that's why we built this whole test bench. So let's connect the Arduino board to our computer and then write some code to make this pump work. When you upload this code I put up on the screen right here, the relay is going to flash a light and make a loud click for one second and then it's gonna turn off and repeat over and over. There we go, there's that light on and off. So I just changed up the code. I'm gonna have it initially turn off for a second, then I want it to turn on for one second and then turn off for five and repeat. So that's one second on, one, two, three, four, five. Back on for one and then repeat. So I'm just going to 
comment this out and upload it to the board so only this code runs right here. So the relay should stay off. We're gonna uncomment that. So I'm just gonna plug in the power supply into the wall. No sparks, no smoking. I think we're good. I don't feel any heat. Now let's upload this code to the Arduino and see if it does what it's supposed to do. Now it's off for five seconds and then the motor should turn on for one second. Now that we know that it works and it's not burning up, let's change that five seconds to one second and let's repeat the process. I don't know if you can hear this, so I'm just gonna move the microphone. All right, so we actually got this working. If you put it in the middle switch here, it's gonna stop the motor from working. And if you put it in this one, it will turn the motor the other direction. I'm just feeling it to see if it's hot. Seems like we're good. Now the motor is back in a emergency off, I guess you can call it. But if you put it in here, it's one direction, but in here it's the other. Let's plug our pump into some tubes, get those tubes into a cup of water and maybe another cup to dump the water in. And then let's see if this thing actually works. We know we can activate it, but we haven't figured out yet if we can make it do what we're trying to do. And hopefully it will not make a big mess and fry everything. So let's go over this one more time. Arduino goes into relay. Relay controls a power supply, which goes to a reversing switch to reverse the motor in and out so that water can be sucked out of the cup or put into the cup and then that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna run the code that turns the water on and off. And I'm gonna put it five seconds on and then five, or we'll do five seconds on, two seconds off. All right, so we're, we're getting bubbles in this cup right here, which means we're trying to push out this way. Now it should start sucking water, there it is. It's going down the tube, it's stuck right here. Keep going. It's in our pump. For some reason, there's red stuff in our pump. That's pretty cool. And now our cup, our little mug here is filling up with water. Well, that's it for this video. In the next couple videos, we're gonna take water level sensors like this one right here, where it has a ball on a long stick. And as the water level rises, the ball will rise with the water level telling us where the water is. We're gonna use sensors like these inside of water containers and then gonna use this system to bring the water level up until the sensor tells us it's enough or until it overflows and burns everything I have here. If you enjoyed this video one more time, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.